Started VGI in 2002, uh, a little over 20 years ago now. We've been a WISP for 13 years and a security company uh, is the other half of our company. Uh, so we have been providing services uh, in West and Central Texas, from San Angelo, Texas to the West, to Horseshoe Bay and Marble Falls area to the East. We're probably 90, 90 to 95% residential. We usually operate in our, our sweet spot is outside of, of some major areas. Of course, we're not in West Texas, there's not a lot of major areas that we're in. San Angel is about 100,000 people and we operate best on the outskirts and, and serving the needs of the communities outside. Horseshoe Bay, on the other hand, is about uh, 4,000 residents and, and we focus um, on improving connectivity as a whole across the board. Come from three to five meg, you know, five to 10 years ago, and now we're offering plans 100 full plus. So it's pretty exciting times to be a WISP right now. We're expanding as fast as we can across that area to serve as many customers as possible. On our next gen service, which is our Tirana plans, uh, we go up to 400 meg in, in some cases. So it's got to be the right environment, uh, yeah, but it's a 400 meg plan. We've got a 200 meg plan, and our base level is a 100 meg plan. Currently, we have over 300 Toronto radios deployed. Had some hiccups, ups and downs. There's a little bit of learning curve, and, and I think uh, that's what's been good about a partner with Toronto is uh, overcoming some of those obstacles. We're very comfortable with the product now and looking to, to sh ramp up. We have, I think, our, our busiest BN is we're operating at about 140 RNs, uh, subscribers on a BN. Um, and uh, it's operating with, without a hitch. Uh, we have customers, again, from 100, 200, and 400 meg plans uh, operating flawlessly on that. Toronto radios now have given us the freedom to not chase interference and uh, frequency changes uh, probably nightly, uh, as we have a lot of other competitors in our market uh, you know, fighting for that same frequency and trying to provide, ultimately, it's trying to provide the best possible service we can for our customers. And Toronto has provided us the ability to do that um, in a way that no other manufacturer has ever been able to do before. Uh, we've been excited about other manufacturers in the past, uh, and Toronto has just blown away and, and met any expectations that we could have possibly had for the performance of the, of the hardware. My name is Frank Hosea. I am currently on the City Council of Horseshoe Bay, Texas, which is in the Texas Hill Country. I'm a former executive of Time Warner, um, so I'm familiar with various technologies. Being a part of the Texas Hill Country, the thing that's unique about Horseshoe Bay is, like it said, it's got hills, it's not flat like you would think. There's lots of trees. Uh, we also have an abundance of uh, granite and uh, dolomite. All utilities are in ground, so it makes it very difficult for trenching. So wireless became a very viable option. We have two water towers, which they are currently broadcasting off. We're building three more towers, 100-foot towers that are strategically located within Horseshoe Bay that will also be broadcasting. So we're gonna be able to get up to uh, 90 to 95% coverage for Horseshoe Bay, where traditionally they had only the option of, of dial-up, and we all know the limitations of dial-up, or satellite, and we know what the limitations of satellite are. So we're excited about this. This will give people uh, uh, options, and the, and the technology has proved to be very, very effective there are still other competitors in the area. Uh, we feel like we're, we're able to offer a superior level of customer service, but now with Toronto over the last year, not only are we able to offer a superior level of customer service, but we're able to offer a vastly superior product. Higher speeds, uh, we're probably, uh, I think the next highest plan from our competitor out here is maybe 50 meg. Uh, and in some cases, like I said, we're offering 400. So there's a significant gap difference between the product offering that we have versus our competitors currently. I wondered when I first looked at the product and, and first had conversations a year and a half ago, uh, you're wondering, is it, you know, it's just too good to be true. Surely they're not going to be able to hit those speeds, uh, achieve the things that they were saying. Uh, but in reality, after testing, it, it, it did. You know, we, we heard from others, uh, we tested ourselves, um, and 
you know, it, it's vastly superior. I, I can't express enough how every other product that we've used, you know who they are. I don't need to name them all, you know, have set expectations and those expectations just have not been met.